It's a pleasure to speak with both of you. I love the film. And I got to ask, William, man, you know, Johnny Knoxville has WrestleMania coming up, but you had a big showdown with Brock Lesnar. He body slammed you through a table. How was that? Has anybody ever thrown you around like that before? <laughs> Not like that. That was probably the worst ever. And Preston, my buddy right there, was sitting right across from me. And I had never seen him laugh as hard as he did when that was going down. And I was like, dude. <laughs> awesome. And, uh, so are we ever going to see you inside the ring, wee man? <laughs> I'm not going to say no. So that's all I can say right now. Awesome. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Why has Brock Lesnar been talking some smack? <laughs> no, but I might fire up Brock Lesnar. <laughs> there we go. And Preston, you know, shitting your pants is never fun, but it does make for great content. When like a bit goes wrong in that manner, uh, you still have that upside. Like, hey, at least this is going to be memorable, just not in the way you thought, right? Yeah, there's a moment where it goes from god awful to you start to realize, wait a minute, this is probably going to make the movie just because it's so messed up. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And then we man, there was a big break between Jackass Three and Forever. You know, talk me through getting back into that frame of mind, and once you start doing those stunts, uh, do you like find yourself back in that groove? Oh, totally. We were like four years prior. We were already all amped trying to get the movie going again. And by the time when Knox said, all right, we can push the, push the button, we can push the go button, we were fully amped. And the, that first bit you see, human ramp, like with Preston underneath and all that, that was day one. And that it was go time. And we were all, like, you could tell the camaraderie and how much fun and how much we were ready to just do this movie. And Preston, you know, we get to see so many new faces that fit right into, you know, the jackass core. How impressed were you with just these new newcomers and how well they fit in with the, you know, the OGs? Uh, it had it had to be hard on them. And especially, you know, sometimes we mess with them. Uh, there was a, we were on a break one time and we, we kept calling them and telling them, asking them why they weren't on set that day. Like, <laughs> Did she get fired? Oh, man, it was fun to mess with. We, we love them all, though. They're, they're, they're good kids, even though they're not that young. <laughs> we, man, you know, Jackass Forever had a really lovely tribute to Ryan Dunn at the end. Were there any stunts during the film where you're like, this would have been a great stunt for Ryan? Oh, all the time. All the time I was like that. Ryan would have loved the marching band one. Uh, what else? He would have loved, oh. It, there, there's just so many things we filmed and they're coming out like in 4.5 that I'm thinking of. I don't want to give away, but there was days like we would sit there and we're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. And we would tell each other, Ryan would do it. So then it would like amp us up, you know? So yeah, this one, this one was for Ryan. I love it. I love it. And Preston, the, you're, the punching bag stunt. <laughs> was there any reservations to doing that? Like, I feel like if you're doing that, you just can't really say no to like anything. <laughs> no, I was, I was behind on footage. Remember that we man? And I had, Oh yeah. And it was yeah. like it, it was a few weeks in and it was like, man, everybody's getting footage and I've got to get something done. Yeah. He, we, Preston kept talking about it. Like we would be doing things and be like, all right, I got this. I got this. And we kind of tally each other and Preston kept coming to me. Dude, I haven't got nothing yet. I haven't got nothing. And when he did that, I'm like, dude, you got something now. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And we, man, I thought this film had the best opening yet. And they, you know, it's hard to one up each other. They, they've been so great before. What was your reaction when you just saw the Godzilla dick causing havoc and it all come together? Uh, I was like, OK, that, that we, we got it because we didn't have an opener for a while. And the Pontosaurus, you know, was going to be uh, just a bit. That was going to be a little bit for Chris to have that. And Spike was like, this is the opener. This is what we're going to do. And it just started coming together. We're like, all right, we got an opener, you know? So but yeah, so Spike wrote it and it was awesome. And we got to do it on the Paramount lot. 
So when you film there, that's when that's when you know you're going to get gold. That's awesome. And Preston, you know, you're obviously a veteran to this, but the 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 pranks never stop coming so like how paranoid are you and once you've done this for so long can you really be surprised yeah uh, yes now like in the uh silence of the lambs they got we man and i good you know they we they, we fell for that hook line and sinker yeah <laughs> so they, they know how they know they can distract us in ways to get us definitely and but it does take all of them <laughs> yeah because if one just tries by themselves, we're like, no, nah, there's something fishy. <laughs> I mean, I've been, you know, a fan for 20 plus years. And something that surprised me about this film was that the critical reception was so high. Usually, you know, 60, 70 percent positive, still good. But this was like overwhelming. Do you think people were just ready to see people get like hit in the nuts after the pandemic? I just think we felt like even after we filmed it, we felt like we did a good one. You know, you, you can tell if you put something out that's quality or not quality. And we felt like it was a good one and we were ready to release it. And it just so happened to be a perfect time that a lot of people wanted to be out, be in the theater, be, be social instead of social media. So it, you know, maybe it was a little bit of luck for us that it came out then, but Hey, it's called it's timing, you know, and it's just like doing a bit. If you nail it on timing, your joke is good. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for your time today. The film turned out fantastic. No, thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Thanks for thank having you. us, Tyler.